Hi, this is Dan, one of the Missouri Travelers. And guess what? Today is my day to cook supper. So I decided to do something with all the fish that we've caught. I've taken some trout fillets, and it's fairly simple. I just simply cut them into smaller pieces. This is the way I did when the kids were little and they just loved them. So first we're going to take some of these. We'll move this over to here. What I use is just some simple fish fry seasoned breading mix. What you do is you take a few of these, you're going to drop them in here, seal it up. Give it a few shakes. Oops, we're going to get a little hot on our grease. You got to watch your grease, it gets a little hot. What you do, usually I put, uh, put a few more in here. But what I want to do is I just want to do this real quick. Put them down in there. We'll let them fry a little bit. Got the fan turned on. Turn our heat down a little more. Well, those are frying up. Put some more in a bag. Shake them up real good. Once they fry it up, you take them out, put them out onto a plate, put you some more in, put those to fry it. It's going to be real good tonight. Mm -mm. Tell you what, there's nothing better than a little bit of fried trout. We're going to have some uh, coleslaw with that. Just like I did with the last batch, we're going to put a little more in here. Now, every so often, you may have to add a little bit of season. I don't know exactly how many fish I'm going to get out of what I put in here. But I've got quite a few more to go. And what you're looking at on these fish, you see how they're coming to the surface? See how those are floating to the surface there? That means they're done. So we just take them out, take the grease off there, put them out on the plate. Now one thing about food handling, I'm handling raw food right now so I'm not going to mess with the uh, cooked food until I wash my hands. So always remember if you're going from Raw food to cooked food. You want to wash your hands. And I'm just doing this because I'm going to add just a little bit more fish fry to my bag. Now, you can put a little salt, pepper, whatever extra you might want in here. I'm going to see if I can't get the rest of them done so we can move on to supper. You want to get a little air in that bag so if they'll move around. Make sure you seal her up good so you don't have stuff all around. And we're going to give her a good shake. And about the time we're looking over here at this other batch that's in the fire, they're all coming up to the surface there, looking mighty good, much looking mighty good. I think we're going to get them all in one more shot. Let me take these. Shake the grease off of them. Put them over here in the pan. Take the rest of these here. Put them off in your grease. Get these a frying up. This is the last of them. We'll probably have some leftovers because we got quite a few fish here.
one thing about cooking these fish, it means that uh, we can go out and catch some more because you're only allowed to have eight in your possession. And so we're cooking up some of our fish so that we can go back down to Montauk or maybe to Bennett, catch us some more of these fine, fine trout. This is the last of my cooking right here, so I'm gonna have to get off here so I can get the rest. I think the wife is here and she'll be looking for supper. So I'm gonna jump off here, look down, put some comments in if you want to, hit like, subscribe, please and uh, hit the bell and you'll see what uh, comes up next so from Missouri Travelers all my travelers out there we'll see you later